Hello and welcome to Celebrity Reporter. In this video, we will be looking at Princess of Wales Kate Middleton's houses. From her childhood in Bucklebury to her country house in Norfolk, these are all the houses that Kate Middleton, the Princess of Wales, has lived in. There is no end to our fascination with how royals live, and even more so with those who marry into it. Born Catherine Elizabeth Middleton, the now Princess of Wales, formerly Duchess of Cambridge, has resided in some rather charming and rather grand houses over the years, so we decided to take a whistle-stop tour. From her childhood in Berkshire to her student digs in St. Andrews, and then onto the houses she's been privileged to gain access to via her marriage, this is where the Princess of Wales has lived. Bucklebury Manor. The Middleton family house is in the bucolic surrounds of Berkshire. Bucklebury Manor is a grade two listed manor house in the village of Bucklebury. And while it's not where Catherine, James, and Pippa grew up, it does count as the family home now. Kate, in fact, grew up not in the same village, Bucklebury, in a house called Oak Acre, with a brief stint in Ammon, Jordan between 1984 and 1986, when her parents, Michael and Carol Middleton, worked for British Airways. During her teenage years, she was between Bucklebury, Marlborough College, and Down House, though she did not board at the latter. Her parents moved into Bucklebury Manor in 2012, and the Georgian house sits in 18 acres of grounds. It's a Regency-style house, built originally for the Wyndcombe family. St. Salvatore's Hall While at university, where she famously met Prince William, Kate stayed in the same halls of residence as her beau, St. Salvatore's. They are the halls every undergraduate clamors to live in, as close to the West Sands seafront as you can get, with an address of the sought-after scores. It could be said that St. Salvatore's is one of the loveliest buildings in the Scottish town, which does house quite a few architectural gems. Affectionately known to locals and students as Sally's, inside there are high ceilings, an oak-paneled dining room, stained glass, and fireplaces galore. Kate and William shared private accommodation together for their later years at St. Andrews and are reported to have holed up in one of the charming cottages in King's Barns, further down the coast towards Crail. This was a smart move that afforded them privacy from the press. Old Church Street Post-university and pre-marriage, Kate Middleton moved into a flat in Chelsea with her sister, Pippa, which her parents owned. She moved in in 2011 to the three-bedroom flat, which is on a beautiful street that cuts between Fulham Road and the King's Road. When it came up for sale in 2011 for £1.95 million, the public was offered a rare look inside, and the interiors were, though tasteful, a little bland. Anglesey Bodergen Home Farm does not have a particularly royal ring to it, but when Kate and Will were newlyweds, this is the house they rented in North Wales. Right by the coast, a private beach no less, and with views of Snowdonia, they are said to have loved it there with regular paparazzi shots of Kate shopping in the local Waitrose being all the gossip of the time. Costing £750 a month and rent at the time, the couple were there from 2011 to 2013, while Prince William was stationed there with the Royal Air Force and rented the property from Lord and Lady Merrick. Inside, there are four bedrooms, some with sea views, two bathrooms, a country-style living room, a kitchen, and dining room with a fireplace. 1A Kensington Palace Following a £1 million restoration, 
Kate and William left Anglesey to return to their royal residence at 1A Kensington Palace. It's where Princess Margaret lived and has quite enough space for the family of five, spread across four stories with multiple reception rooms and space for staff. When they hosted Michelle and Barack Obama in 2016, a rare glimpse at the interiors were granted, and it seems Kate and William follow Rita Koenig's mantra that there's no such thing as too many lamps. The interiors are traditional and fairly neutral, with enviable architectural detailing throughout. Anne Merhall the Prince and Princess of Wales's house in Norfolk has to be one of England's loveliest country houses. With interiors by Ben Pintreath and sprawling grounds to enjoy. The house lies on the outskirts of the village of Anmer in Norfolk, about two miles away from the Queen's house at Sandringham. The 10-bedroom Georgian mansion, built in 1802, was given to William and Kate as a wedding present from the Queen when they were married in 2011. Before the Duke and Duchess moved in, they embarked on a £1.5 million refurbishment program, including a new roof, kitchen, and conservatory, in addition to a total redecoration of the interior. For the structural changes, the royal couple worked with the architect Charles Morris, who has also worked on Prince Charles's house at Highgrove. The interiors were masterminded by house and garden top 100 designer Ben Pentreath and are thought to be rather lovely. Anne Merhall is the other main residence of the royal couple, who split their time between here and Kensington Palace. They also reportedly have a cottage at Balmoral for holidays, although no images have ever been seen of that idol. Adelaide Cottage Prince William and Kate Middleton moved into Adelaide Cottage in 2022. It's a four-bedroom house on the grounds of Windsor Castle, which was one tipped for being Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's. Adelaide Cottage was first built in 1831 and named for William IV's wife, Queen Adelaide. A cottage orné, or decorated cottage, it has a pinkish-white stucco exterior and ornamental roof trimmings. Historic England reports that the master bedroom features gilded dolphins and rope ornament originally used on the royal yacht, HMY Royal George, as well as a marble Greco-Egyptian fireplace. It was renovated in 2016, so the royal couple may not do any work to it now. Anne Merhall was reportedly worked on by Ben Pentreath, and it is unclear who renovated the current iteration of Adelaide Cottage. As the queen gets older and an inevitable shift in the monarchy begins to loom, it makes sense that the would-be heir apparent to the British throne should move a little closer to Windsor, his grandmother, and his father, Prince Charles. So last week, Prince William, the Duke of Cambridge, did just that, moving with his family from Anmer Hall in Norfolk into Adelaide Cottage. We are super excited about you watching our videos and look forward to your continued support. It means the world to us. See you in the following videos.